Hi guys, welcome to this chapter on circles. This is chapter 10 of our NCRT books. In the previous videos, we saw that if a circle is given to us, say this is the circle and there's a tangent from an external point, point T, then this tangent at the point of tangency makes an angle of 90 degrees with the radius. So this particular angle is always 90 degrees. We also saw that if there's another tangent to this circle again, say this one, then the lengths of these two tangents, let's call this point point P and this point as point Q, then we also saw that TP was always equal to TQ. So these were the two theorems related to circles and tangents that we saw in the previous videos. So let's build on from there and look at a few example questions. Let's say this is the first example. It states that two tangents TP and TQ are drawn to a circle with center O from an external point T. Prove that angle PTQ is equal to twice of angle OPQ. Now always the first step is to draw the figure. Let's see what the figure would be like. So the figure would be something like this. Now if you read the question again, it says that there is a circle with center at point O. So let this be the center at point O. Now it also says that two tangents are drawn from an external point T. So this point here can be point T. And there are two tangents TP and TQ this could be P and this could be Q drawn from point T. Now we have to prove that angle PTQ is equal to twice of angle OPQ. Let's look at what is angle PTQ. PTQ, so this one is angle PTQ and what is angle OPQ? Now this one. The one between the red radius and this green chord is angle OPQ. Now we have to find out the relationship between these two angles. Now let's see how we can do that. Let us consider that angle PTQ is equal to theta. So this angle here is theta. Now in the previous video we saw that PT is equal to TQ because both of these are two tangents drawn to the same circle from an external point T and they are of equal length. So this implies that triangle PTQ is an isosceles triangle. And we know in an isosceles triangle the angles opposite to the equal sides are equal to each other. That means this particular angle is also equal to this angle. So we can write in triangle PTQ angle TPQ is equal to angle TQP. Assuming that the values of these angles are x and by the angle sum property of a triangle we can write x plus x plus theta is equal to 180 degrees. From this equation, I can further write that 2x is equal to 180 degrees minus theta or x is equal to 90 degrees minus theta by 2. Now this is the value of angle TPQ or angle TQP. Now we also know that angle OPT is equal to 90 degrees. This is because the radius and the tangent at the point of tangency form a right angle triangle. So angle OPT is a 90 degree angle and we can see from the figure that angle OPT is nothing but angle OPQ plus angle QPT. And we just found out the value of angle QPT. QPT was x. And we know the value of x. 
So from this particular equation, equation 1, we can easily find out the value of angle OPQ. Let's see what that would be. So we have 90 degrees is equal to angle OPQ plus angle QPT and QPT is nothing but X which is 90 degrees minus theta by 2. So from here if I transpose this particular term here I would have angle OPQ is equal to 90 degrees minus 90 degrees minus theta by 2 and from here 90 degree and 90 degree would get cancelled this minus would make this minus positive so I would have theta by 2 and this implies theta is equal to 2 times of angle OPQ. Now what was theta? Theta was angle PTQ this one. So if I just replace the value of theta I would have angle PTQ is equal to 2 times angle OPQ and this was what was to be proven. I hope you enjoyed this example.